New Year's Eve in Copacabana, Rio de Janeiro. And I thought carnival was the most crazy thing that happens in this glorious city. But today is also the most dangerous day of the year to be a tourist. This is how to do New Year's Eve in Rio, Brazil. Just like on the first day of carnival, early morning New Year's Eve in Rio feels pretty normal. <laughs> that is about to change. Welcome to Copacabana, Rio de Janeiro and to the last day of this godforsaken year. In some hours, this area will be flooded by about 2 million people and total chaos will break loose. The 5km beach will be dotted by music stages and it will be nearly impossible to move in the crowds. And at midnight, one of the world's most famous fireworks starts. I'll try to show you how to celebrate New Year's in Rio right. But keep in mind, this is my first time too. This is the world's biggest New Year celebration. And note, this video is raw because I needed to get it out fast. But before moving on, let's not forget about the greatest party of them all, Carnival, which you can now enjoy together with me here in Rio. I'll be hosting the five-day event Rio Rampage, showing you all my favorite parties and how to fully enjoy Carnival. And to maximize the experience, we got Sam Overton, personal coach and master of social interaction. Get ready for five days of sun, samba and caipirinha, and a new social confidence. Let's go! Personal coaching, wild carnival fun and private house party. <laughs> this will be crazy. <laughs> First off, New Year's is the number one day for robberies in Rio, so take safety measures, such as buying one of these hidden waste bags. This one is a lifesaver. I think we're ready to get this New Year started. Yep, a few hours later, some more people have started gathering on the streets. All right, so it's time to put this safety bag on. This is as essential as wearing a white shirt. Just put it there and shove it deep down into your underwear. And that is how you keep your cell phone safe during the festivities. Ah. But I gotta say, it's not as crazy as expected yet. I actually imagine more chaos at this time. It's about 6 o'clock, the music is about to start down at the beach and so far it's pretty quiet. Alright, sunset is about to hit Copacabana, Rio de Janeiro and they, uh, they seal off most of the traffic so it's actually easier to walk than usual. Ah, New Year's Eve is waiting just 50 meters ahead. Unfortunately, a bunch of policemen are also waiting and they don't like what I have in the bag. Oops, seems to be some problem going on here. Yeah, apparently, apparently you're not allowed to bring glass into the area. Are we ready? We're here! We gotta finish this one faster. All clear! Note to self, next time bring a plastic bottle. <laughs> I'm not saying I am disappointed or anything, but I did actually expect things to be much crazier than this. I mean, this, this is controllable. And how it hurts to see my friends manage to smuggle their stuff in. Life is unfair and here I am walking around with my lukewarm... Tastes like bad memories. So Chris, back from the dead. We saw, we saw this guy in Fortaleza last time. Now he's got... Now he's in, uh, I was about to say he's been improving his tan. But I'm not sure... <laughs> no, I haven't I'm not sure been. he has. I'm, all, I'm wearing sunscreen every day, bro. <laughs> but he dresses accordingly, all white, yeah. even flip-flops. <laughs> 
I even bought these these Javianas I bought yesterday. Oh, you bought for them this. for Wow. Yeah. It's a toilet queue. It's funny because there's a water loose right there and people would rather wait in line. Yeah, but those free toilets don't smell well. Next year will be better. You will rise again. All right, so Copa Beach. And this is where it all's gonna go down in about, what time is it? Is it four hours left? And why are there so much police around? Well, you know, New Year's in Copacabana has a reputation of getting visited by more than a few thieves. And sometimes they attack in a pack, a so-called arrestado, basically robbing everyone in their way. All right, so let's check that music out. The party has not officially started yet, but people have started turning up. So New Year's Eve in Copacabana basically consists of three major stages playing professional music with artists famous in the whole of the country, and a bunch of restaurants playing their live music, and some unofficial stages with other people performing, and people playing their own music from their stereos. <laughs> it's just music everywhere. The main stage in the center of the beach is usually the most popular. <laughs> okay, let's just chill for a while before things really kick off. Well, I mean, it's a five kilometer long beach, but it's not, you know, completely crowded. I yeah. was expecting more chaos. I think, well, Brazilians are notoriously late, right? And it's only still five hours to go, so I think it'll fill up uh, a lot later, right? And why are you not in some fancy hotel today on New Year's Eve? Why are you here on the beach? Well, it's my first New Year's Eve in Rio, and I want to do something that's iconic Rio. And, like, we were talking about before, like, I don't want to do something that I could be anywhere in the world for. I want to be experiencing Rio, the real, you know, environment. I think it's a nice experience to stay on the beach and watch the fireworks. It's kind of a magical thing. But this is a touristic celebration. I right? think it's more tourist, to be honest. Because this is a little bit dangerous as well, right? Yeah, we have. Uh, we need to watch all the time, you know, take care of your phone, his wallet, everything, because it's not too safe. But you can enjoy a little bit, you can have a fun, you have your friends, and just just be aware, you know? Saúde! Saúde! <laughs> So, we've been talking a little about how dangerous it can be to celebrate New Year's here. But how do you actually stay safe? So, cheapest way to party and stay safe at the same time? Sign up for one of these sealed off places at the beach. Serving drinks and keeping the bad guys at bay. I'm getting thirsty here now. Time to get those free drinks. <laughs> Free drinks for six hours. <laughs> Let's just say those tickets paid for themselves. The music hasn't really started I know, yet. right? So, people need to get that awkwardness away. Are you awkward? Licor aqui? Alcohol? Vodka. I'm supposed to be a Viking, but. You can start a car with this drink. But in all honesty, this is mostly just about waiting for the fireworks. Feliz Año Novo! Hey! So, any second now, those famous fireworks will start. Here we go. Get ready for 12 minutes of total carnage. This is the best firework I've ever seen.
good things must come to an end, and when the fireworks stops, the beach party kind of dies. All that remains is heading for the main stage, where the music might not suit everyone. I'd like to say Copa New Year, it's mainly about the fireworks. Yeah, this was fun to see, but it was also exhausting. So that was New Year's Eve in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Was it an experience of a lifetime? Yeah, it kind of was. Is this something I will do next year again? I mean, probably not. One time is enough. This is not carnival after all. I would go as far as to say the idea, the concept of New Year's in Copacabana it's more appealing than the actual New Year's in Copacabana. There is a lot of waiting around. And then it's over. If you like the video, please subscribe and support the channel. Thanks for watching and be safe.